In this tutorial, I show you how to create the amazing 360 freeze frame or also called time freeze effect with your Insta360 ONE X2. Check out these example shots. Time freeze effect allows you to create breathtaking shots that will amaze your viewers. The reframing motion added in post-production makes the time freeze effect even more impressive and adds dynamic to the scene. I will now show you how you can easily create the 360 time freeze effect with your Insta360 ONE X2. First, you have to create a 360 degree video, for example record it with your Insta360 ONE X2. I would suggest to record in 5.7K with 30fps for the best quality. For the best results, shot your video footage in good lightning conditions in a simple environment. All further editing steps and reframing steps I will demonstrate now in Insta360 Studio. The first step is to import your Insta360 footage. The next step is to trim the start and end of the video. Select only the part you want to export. Then find the time where the freeze frame effect should be started. Use the arrow keys to click through the video frame by frame and define the exact starting point. Then click on the time shift symbol. Use the arrow keys to select the end of the time freeze effect. The speed menu appears where you can select the time shift factor. Select the lowest value, one quarter. If you play back the video now, you will see it is slowed down at the defined area. The slowdown looks jerky in live playback. To achieve a smooth result, the video must be exported. So click on the export button. Attention. Make sure that you select the tab 360 video. This will export the complete 360 video. This is necessary because we will reframe the material later. For the best quality I would recommend exporting in ProRes. Then click on start export. To see the result, delete the imported video and import the material you just exported. When you play back the video now, you will notice that the slowed part plays smoothly. This is because Insta360 Studio applies a frame interpolation method during export and adds the missing frames. This is how the slow motion effect is achieved. Unfortunately, the speed is still not slow enough. Therefore, we apply the timeshift function again to the slowed down area. 
To do this, use the arrow keys to find the area where the slowdown part starts and select the time shift effect again. Look for the end and select one quarter again for the speed. Then export the entire 360 video as before. By importing it again, you now see the ultra slow motion effect. To achieve the final time freeze effect, the reframing movement must be added. Here you have the full creative scope. You can add any reframing movements you like. In this example, I add two reframing keyframes and create a dynamic time freeze effect. If you are satisfied with the result, you can export the final video. Here you need to select the tab Reframed Video. After the export is finished, you can see the final 360 time freeze effect. In my opinion, this effect is very impressive and very easy to achieve. Try it out yourself and create your own 360 time freeze shots. In the video description, you can find a special Insta360 ONE X2 Gimbal Guru offer, including a free gift. Check it out and get your Insta360 ONE X2 now to create your own 360 time freeze shots. Subscribe to my channel for more creative 360 video tutorials, tips and tricks.